minimum wage executive order highlights federal fast food sector. We have to go to Politico for the article, President Obama Signs Minimum Wage Executive Order by Reed J. Epstein, published February 12, 2014. President Barack Obama on Wednesday formally signed an executive order raising the pay for employees of federal contract workers, but his attention was on a push for Congress to do the same for all Americans. Obama came armed with an array of statistics and figures showing how he believes raising the hourly minimum wage from $7.25 to $10.10 would boost the economy, but with few details about the executive order he signed during the East Room ceremony. House Speaker John Boehner, the Republican from Ohio, says he has doubts a minimum wage hike will provide an economic boost. To prove the benefits of a minimum wage hike, Obama offered examples of three federal employees, a dishwasher, a fast food employee, and a laundry worker at federal facilities who will see their hourly pay increased whenever their employer's contracts are renewed. President Barack Obama offered three examples of federal employees, a dishwasher, a fast food employee, and a laundry worker at federal facilities. A federal fast food employee makes President Obama's top three list of federal employees. The departments and agencies of the United States of America maintains contracts with all sectors of U.S. trade and industry, from fast food to firearms, film production, and beyond. Federal contracts combined with the Federal Reserve results in Soviet-style controlled economics in the United States of America. United States citizens live under fascism, which is defined as the marriage of corporate and government power. The form of government provided by the departments and agencies of the United States of America is socialism. Google defines socialism as a political and economic theory of social organization that advocates that the means of production, distribution, and exchange should be owned or regulated by the community as a whole. Community as a whole means government. Socialism advocates that government owns or regulates trade and industry. That is the system the people of the United States of America have. In the case of Ally Bank, formerly GMAC Financing, well, you have to go to Fiscal Times, an article published on December 23rd, 2013, talking about Ally Bank. Ally Bank used to be GMAC Financing. The company changed its name to Ally Financial in 2010 after the U.S. Treasury pumped $16.3 billion into the company to save it from bankruptcy. At one point, the government owned nearly 75% of the company. Its stake today is approximately 64%. The Department of the Treasury of the United States of America owns 64% of Ally Bank. When your government owns 64% of a private bank that it also regulates, you live under socialism.